there's no shortage of sights and sounds at this small intersection in Highland Springs. It's, it's, real, it's real busy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people come here. The laundromat and corner store here are the regular work spots for lifelong handyman Russell Cruz. Yeah, I put these lights on the building and on the top of the canopy right there, the big security lights on the store. This afternoon, he learned about two different shootings in the apartment complex across the street. I never heard anything anywhere, you know, over this way. All the way back from over from the main highway over that way and back down that way, I never seen or heard anything bad, you know. Yeah, so this is all new. Though the bright sun shines over this spot now, what led to an officer-involved shooting here remains a bit foggy. According to Henrico police, they responded to a domestic service call in the 100 block of Quinby Court just after 3.30 Friday morning. Police say an adult male and female were in a physical struggle when a firearm was discharged, shooting the female. Crime Insider sources say the victim ran to a relative's apartment for safety. That apartment is in the 600 block of Sean Court, in the same apartment complex. Crime Insider sources say when police showed up to that apartment, the relative opened the door holding a gun. Police say two officers discharged their firearms. Investigators say no officers were shot, but an officer did get a minor hand injury. It's unclear if the relative holding a gun fired at officers first or if the relative was injured. Do you know for certain if the suspect uh, fired at officers? That's still under investigation. The female victim was transported to an area hospital with serious but non-life-threatening injuries and has since been released. Both males were detained but have since been released and have not been charged at this time. Cruz sharing this on the complicated case. I can't do my prayer body. You know, <laughs> everybody comes out okay. In Henrico County, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.